Patrick Scott Image Space Light is a major exhibition uh, of this artist, which ranges across two different venues, the Irish Museum of Modern Arts Garden Galleries and also uh, the Centre for Contemporary Art in Visual Carlo. And it has featured over 100 works by this remarkable artist, um, ranging across 75 years of his career. Sadly, Patrick Scott died on the eve of his exhibition opening here at IMA. He's left us with a wonderful legacy of work to enjoy and to really understand Pat's spirit and, and his vision and his enormous talent as an artist, as an architect and as a designer. Here at IMA, we've included his earlier works of the White Stag period, from his first exhibition in 1941 through to later works of the 1960s. So we trace in the exhibition at IMA his um, work with White Stag figures such as Kenneth Hall and Basil Rackesy. Moving then to his work in the 1950s, which were more structural and, con and constructivist in style, but he really found his own métier in the 1960s when he started what he's, we call his process paintings and the large, most beautiful um, device paintings in which he soaked paint into the canvas. And there is a wonderful range of those on view at the garden galleries. We also then show his work from Rosk and for the first time seen his design work as a, a designer with Cigna from 1953 onwards um, in terms of graphics, in terms of fabric design. In many different ways he imprinted his talent and his wonderful aesthetic uh, on the design of Ireland from the 50s onwards. I suppose most memorably with the, the livery for the uh, Irish railways um, in that classic black and orange coloration. So this here at IMA has been the first time that all of the design elements have been exhibited. We also too have some very early gold paintings, uh, which uh, really, I suppose, have re been regarded as his most signature idiom, where he uses those wonderful components of raw canvas, white tempera and gold leaf to create wonderful, beautiful compositions of abstract and transcendental meditative qualities. In Carlo, 
we showed the later works and some of the larger works, overhung then by the tapestry kite, well it's called a tapestry, it's actually a painting, but an enormous uh, six metre square painting, uh, which magnetises everything else in that room. Both exhibition spaces are so remarkably different. Carlo is a large, purpose-built, contemporary building. And in the main space, uh, the main gallery, we included a wonderful um, selection of gold paintings. Also included there are some of his wonderful furniture pieces, the tables for meditation and the diptych screens. And the whole work beautifully um, seen against uh, black painted walls. The gold leaf uh, of the gold paintings really uh, shimmers and, and candesces. He always uh, surrounded himself with young artists and many young friends and we invited one such artist to respond to uh, Pat's work and career and that is uh, Corbin Walker. Corbin created a wonderful piece in the Link Gallery space called uh, Visual Drawing. It is uh, a, a token of respect and a gesture of respect to Pat's work as well as being a wonderful osmotic presence in uh, what is a space lit by a curtain window stretching the whole length of the building. And Corbin created a piece uh, out of different types of film and vinyl uh, which allow the light and the, the blue sky and the foliage uh, of the trees and surrounding um, the countryside to come through and be seen in the context of the link space. and then a selection of works that he made from Pat's own oeuvre um, and it, it just hung very beautifully together and the two spoke very empathetically. And also, we show his wonderful Christmas cards, which were seen for the first time. There are 35 of them, one every year, commissioned by Scott Helen Walker. We also show a great range of his works on paper, his print works and his gestural drawings which he did from his uh, studio in Wicklow. Uh, very beautiful calligraphic, worked with inks uh, in a very uh, oriental meditative style.
included in the uh, studio gallery uh, large tapestries, those that he did at Aubusson, uh, such as the Eroica tapestry uh, from the Bank of Ireland's collection, and also numerous others from private collections. Um, the beautiful tight weave uh, of the um, Aubusson technique was really sensitively handled by Patrick in both design and colour. There is a wonderful documentary on Pat's life called Golden Boy, uh, which is also on view at both venues and in which is traced Pat's early life and career as a, an architect, designer and an artist uh, through to about 2003 on the occasion of his retrospective at Dublin City Gallery with Hugh Lane. All things considered, it's been a wonderful opportunity and a great privilege and pleasure for Emma and visual to host the, uh, an exhibition of this um, really talented artist's work. We look forward to presenting his work again in the future, perhaps in more focused ways, but this has been the biggest exhibition of uh, his work to date.